So you're looking for a way to sleep soundly at night knowing that your money, your family, and the family pet are safe and sound. But like the average American, you are drowning in debt because everything is just crazy expensive around here. Gas prices are rising. Houses are becoming out of reach for the average person. And the streets are full of filthy criminals out to steal your money, your family, and your family pet. Knock knock. Who's there? Death? You died. Why? Too poor to properly defend yourself. There must be some way to affordably defend yourself. I couldn't stand for this. Knowing that every day, another poor person died because they couldn't properly defend themselves from the threats of the outside world. I thought to myself, well maybe, with all of the projects I have underneath my belt, with the tactical Roomba and the smart glasses, certainly I have the skills to solve this problem. So I got to work. Designing. Innovating. Thinking. The plan was simple. Take a 9 volt battery, a switch, and a voltage converter and stick it in a tube. What could go wrong? Nothing. It was a perfect plan. Until the completely unexpected happened. I spent about three hours designing the housing for it, but it was all for nothing because my 3D printer refused to work. Was it sick? Was it sad? Or was it just being overly defined? I didn't know. But it was too late. After many, many failed attempts to resuscitate the machine, it was clear that my 3D printer's condition was worsening. I had no choice but to pull the plug. Printer, printer, by the wall. Once so large, now so small. I wish that we had gotten more time. But in the printer afterlife, you'll find. There's peace, my friend. Finally, you can rest your heart. Throughout its struggles, it never stopped trying. and never gave up. Neither will I. Well, anyway, that was too bad. So, instead of using 3D printed parts, I had to use something else. Shock Stick features a user-friendly ergonomic design made for all pocket sizes. Its malleable exterior allows it to adapt to new shapes, and it's specially comfortable to sit on. Its slippery exterior and low profile make it extremely difficult for attackers to grab. In addition to that, the ambiguity as to where the on button actually is further prevent it from being used against you, or potentially being used at all. So a lot of people might ask me, why did I build it? Why would I build it in the first place? My goal was to make something so cheap that you could see it at the clearance section at Walmart. Now anyone, anywhere, who needs to defend themselves can. No more untimely deaths. Does it work? Yeah. It does. When I tried it out for the first time, I found it to be satisfyingly painful. Oh! Uh, I don't know what the output actually is. Oh! It's supposed to be around 400,000 volts. Overall, I'm really impressed that I could take a toilet paper roll and some screws and actually make a functioning self-defense um, device out of this for nothing. I think the total price really comes down to around five or six dollars uh, per taser that you build. You could probably build about three of these. And one for your friend, one for your mom, one for your dog, you know, just Whoever wants one can have one. Ultimately, this device can keep you, your family, and your pets safe at night. So go out, take some risks, live life on the edge, knowing that the shonky stick has got your back. Hey, if 
you made it this far and consider subscribing, I would really appreciate it. And check out some of the other videos I've made. I'll definitely make more like this. You know that like button? Please tap it. Please. Thanks.